Welcome to Cheap Joke Art Stuff. My name is Julie and I'm here to impart some knowledge to you today via a two minute art tip. And today's tip is actually about storing your pastels. And I go ahead and pre-apologize here to all you pastel artists out there. Uh, we don't spend enough time on pastel material and I know that. So today is kind of like a make it up to you video about so, uh, a handy tip that I know about storing your pastels. Soft pastel is actually um, kind of a delicate media. It is actually closest um, in t to, in terms of like construction and stuff, to watercolor because basically it is pure pigment and gum arabic. Um, the ratios are different. There's a lot less gum arabic in a soft pastel than there is in a watercolor, but this plus this part of the formulation is exactly the same. Um, the thing about soft pastel is that they are sort of fragile and you need to kind of keep them dry and clean and um, it's kind of hard to do. Um, the packaging that normally accompanies soft pastel is generally some kind of box, either a hardwood box or a cardboard box that has a sponge insert in which all of the different soft pastel sticks kind of reside. You've probably noticed when you buy soft pastel that they normally have like a fuzzy little aura around each of them where just because of it being jostled in transit, it, the sponge has kind of scrubbed against the soft pastel and caused dust. That dust can be a problem over time because the dust then transfers, it gets loose inside the box and transfers from one pastel to the next. Well, today I wanna to offer you an inexpensive and handy solution to kind of alleviate all that. Now, this applies whether you have a formal like pastel tabaret kind of box or whether you have a pastel storage box like um that you know like art bin makes or if you're kind of making it up as you go along and you're getting you know a 99 cent pencil box from the dollar store it doesn't matter to me but one thing i would like to advise that you try is actually filling the bottom of your pastel box with rice and i know you think i'm nuts but hear me out like rice is great for removing moisture from like your phone when you drop it in the sink or you know something else like that it will also keep the moisture level down in the surrounding area around your soft pastel it also keeps the dust level down and if you will take the time to invest in some kind of a storage box like several of the kind that we have here at Cheap Joe's, or if you go outside and find some other kind of option, to go ahead and divide your colors up into like color families, you will be all the happier because then you don't have cross contamination from your blue into your yellows or your pinks into your browns and stuff like that. So the rice helps keep the dust level down, it keeps the moisture level down, and then it, it, it offers kind of like a gentle cushion for those pastels to rest in while they're not being in use. Um, so this is a really, really great tip. Feel free to add this into your existing storage boxes if you already have some, or if you're thinking about like treating yourself to a little handy present, go ahead and put some rice down in there in the, in the bottom of them and your pastels will be all the happier and so will you. And we hope that you enjoy.